Hi. How are you? So I'm going to read a poem today, and it's actually from a, a hopefully upcoming collection, which is currently on Kickstarter. Yay, crowdfunding. Anyway, um, it's a poetry coloring book, so I have an illustrator lined up if if the project does get funded, and she will be illustrating the poems in the book based on her interpretation of them, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the poem that I'm going to read is from Matt, and it's all happening right now, so that's why I chose this one. It's called The Lime Trees, and just a little backstory. I wrote it after a relationship that I was in for a while that was um, dangerous, definitely destructive, and changed who I am and made me realize a lot of things about myself. The poem doesn't really go into the details of what happened so much as how I got out and how I felt how I felt after, kind of the aftermath. Um, though there's some details about inside of the, the situation too. Anyway, I'm gonna get to the poem and not say any more because it's a little bit long and I don't want you to get bored. So please don't get bored. Okay, it's called The Lime Trees. And I'm reading it here, Let's see. <laughs> The house was falling apart. You know, shutters dangling, closet door off its tracks, some wide, blinking brown eyes through the jagged hole in the middle. Someone kicked it. Chipping paint, making pangeas across the walls. I got lost, peeling it like I would dead, sunburnt skin from my shoulders. Leaks from where the roof was flat. A crack curving down the center of a porcelain tub. We used to fill with water and, and soak together in overflowing bubbles like nothing was wrong. Once, I tried to blame the hurricanes, but they never came. Only some heavy rain. The wind had been calm for a long time. Some nights were empty, not just the empty bottles, beer, some rum. Part of an old poem was taped to the fridge. It said, the physical things come first before you tear it, tore it down. I learned about the difference between love and attachment from a book first and then from you. If I could only hate you for kicking the closet door that time you tried to kick that to kick my dog for that time you kicked my dog. Then she started hiding in the closet every time you raised your voice. You even kicked the two baby lime trees, which I bought just before you moved in, and perched with sticks until they were strong enough to hold themselves up. You never kicked me. As much as it might seem like I mentioned the lime trees to serve as a metaphor for me, they're not. I left the day you threw a glass jar of coconut oil at my face, which was only a day after you started all the kicking. I can't say I didn't cry a lot or that it wasn't excruciating to walk away and so fast. I did, and it was. But the way memory works is not so easy. I still remember how you'd hold me in your metal arms like a magnet. So that's the poem. Sorry if it was a little too dark or heavy. But that's life, right? <laughs> anyway, that poem is part of 
the book that will be hopefully coming out in the Kickstarter. And if you would like to donate, I put a link around here. You'll see it. And I would be forever grateful to you. Please check it out. Or not. Honestly, you should just do you. And if you want to, you should. And if you don't, I'm not going to. Who am I? <laughs> anyway, that's all. Until next time in a random poetry reading in my house of me <laughs> reading a poem that I wrote. So, see you next time. And thank you for listening.